Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Vandiver at Discovery Lab in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Welcome to Discover at Home, a series of science lessons you can do at home with a parent or caregiver. Today we will explore the physics of flying a kite. We will be using the Stem in a Bag kite kits from our partners at Tulsa Regional Stem Alliance. The four forces associated with flight are lift, the force that pushes up, thrust, the force that pushes forwards, weight, the force that pushes down due to gravity, and drag, the force that pushes backwards. To illustrate, imagine the experience of sticking your arm out of a car window. The car provides thrust, moving you forward. Gravity provides weight, pulling your arm down. If you slowly rotate your hand clockwise, the wind will provide two forces. One, the lift, will cause your hand to want to go up, and two, the drag, will cause your hand to want to go back. Now, how these forces pertain to our kite, the weight of the kite pulls down, the wind provides lift, pushing the kite up. The wind also is creating drag, pushing the kite back, and our string pulls forward, adding thrust. There are many varieties, shapes, and types of kites, many of which you can make from common household items. In the Stem in a Bag Kite Kit, we have the materials to make a sled kite. In your Stem in a Bag Kite Kit, you will find a kite sail, plastic ribbon for your kite tail, kite string, two bamboo sticks, and masking tape pre-measured and wrapped around a popsicle stick. Please let me introduce to you our good friend, Exan Black, Executive Director of the Tulsa Regional STEM Alliance. She's gonna show you how to make your kite. Hi guys, let's get started building a kite. How fun is that, right? So here's our sail. This is a big sheet of plastic, and that's gonna be used to catch the air. Um, I know that you have two bamboo skewers in aviation land. We call these the spars, and it helps if you say it like a pirate, so spars. You know. And these are going to help hold the sail open because if we didn't have that, it would just crumple up and it wouldn't fly well at all. So the spars are very important. You might notice in your sail you have these little tiny holes right here and here, and also one here and here. So I'm just going to thread the spars through those to hold the shape of the kite. So I'm going to go in through the bottom one and out through the top hole. So it'll look like something like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So that's giving it some structure. Go in through the bottom one and out through the top one. So to keep those in place, um, in the kit you have a craft stick that has some tape on it. So I'm just going to take four small pieces of tape and I'm going to tape down the ends of these spars. I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the spar and a little bit of tape off of the spar. And that will just kind of hold everything in place while I build the kite because it's so annoying if your kite starts moving around while you're building it. Let me get a little bit of tape. I'm just going to put it on the spar with a little bit hanging over and on the spar with a little bit hanging over. Same down here. So now I'm all set. Now if you want to decorate your kite, which is super cool, uh, you can use permanent markers. This is your only time you'll have to get to use uh, permanent markers. I put something under it so you don't wreck whatever you're doing it on, and this is a perfect time to decorate. But if you're not going to decorate it, now we're ready to attach the bridle. It's just like a horse, you know, you control where a horse goes with a bridle. Same with a kite. We're going to have a bridle because this kite flies itself almost. It's so cool. So you're going to want to take this winder that has your kite string on it, it looks like this, and you're going to want to take two wingspans or about six feet of string. So I'm going to do this, about like that. And it, if you're a little bit shorter or a little bit longer, it won't hurt a thing. I cut it there. And then I'm going to go just above where the spar comes out of the sail, and I'm going to double knot it right there with one end. I'm going to tie a knot and then tie another knot. Like that. Stick that back down. 
Then I'm gonna grab the other end of my bridle. Where's this guy that confused me? So I'm looking for the other end of the string. And I'm gonna go over here and tie it to the other spar, just where it comes out of the sail. And I'm gonna double knot it too, because if, if we have good wind and the kite takes off and your bridle breaks or it pulls off, your kite's gonna go for a ride, but you won't see your kite again, which will make you super sad. Um, so to reinforce this, we're gonna put tape all along the string out to the point of this wing. And you can imagine why this is called the wing. It's the pointed part of this kite. It's gonna really help it fly so well. So now we need more of our tape, actually the rest of our tape. So I'm gonna take all of the tape off of the craft stick and I'm gonna split it in half. And I'm gonna just reinforce this part right here because I want this to really hold on well. So I put that there and I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. Kind of line it up with that point of the wing and then put tape on there to reinforce that. So now, voila, we have the bridle and we're gonna untape these points and just fold that extra tape under that kind of reinforces it because we don't want the spars to come out. So just fold it under so that it's on the front and the back side of your kite at all four of those points. So tape that down, fold that over, and we're gonna tape this down, fold this over. And now, um, if you think about it, almost everything that flies is symmetrical. Like you don't see birds with one super short wing and one super long wing. So it's the same for our kite. You can see that the shape is beautifully symmetrical. So we also need for the bridle to be symmetrical or the same on both sides. So a way I can figure out where the middle of the string is is to fold the kite in half like that and then pull the string up. Now I know exactly where the middle of the bridle is. And I'm gonna tie a slip knot, which means I take this part, I wrap it around my fingers, and I tuck it through and pull. And that gives me a nice little loop here and I'm going to attach the winder to that. So I take the string that's coming off of the winder and just tie another double knot, this one inside of this loop. So I'm going to double knot that. One knot, because we don't want this guy to get away from us because he's beautiful. There's that. Okay, so now we have our winder, we have our kite. Now here's a super important thing, attack angle, right? If I just go out and fly a kite like this, it might fly okay, but what will make it fly even better is if it faces the wind like this, this attack angle instead of this attack angle. Now it's gonna really face the wind at a good angle to make it wanna fly. So it's just like if I'm trying to fly like this, this is all balanced, but if I push down on my elbow, it makes my arm wanna come up, which is beautiful. So that's really what the tail does, is it puts a little bit of weight on the back side of the kite so that the kite will pop up more. So again, you want it to be symmetrical, so you wouldn't want to take all of your kite material and put it on one corner. That would be, that would make your kite not fly very well. Um, so you can decide, that's a part of the design, is you can decide, do I want it to be, do I want to have three tails? You know, you can put one on each of the spars and then one in the middle, or you can, no, I want two, or I want five. However you want it, just make it symmetrical across the bottom. So you would take these tails, I'm probably, I would probably just put one at each corner, take those guys down, and then we'll be ready to test this kite out. Now let's fly our kite. Choose a space outdoors that is clear, away from trees, and overhead wires. When you start out, just have a little bit of line, like a, maybe six feet, for example. Uh, and as your kite starts to take off, it'll tug on you, so then you give it more string. If it starts to dive, take up string. You're in charge. Remember, this is your bride. Let's see how it flies. Thanks for hanging out with us and learning about flight with Discovery Lab and the Tulsa Regional STEM Alliance. We'll see you next time.